everybody. I'm Sophia Parola with Garden State Film Festival and here with me I have the pleasure of talking to the people behind the making of the feature film Roman. Uh, it's so great to have you guys here. I'm really excited to talk about the film. How's everybody doing? Hello. Very well. <laughs> Awesome. Before I get into the interview questions, I'd love for all of you just to introduce yourselves and the title you had in the film. I'd love to start okay. off with you, Cindy. Okay. So I'm Cindy Beecham, and I am producer of the film Roman, also the writer of the story that it's based on, along with my late husband. Thank you, Cindy. Dwight? Yeah, so I'm Dwight Wilkins, and I'm the writer and director and cindy and i co-produced it along with lisa and her late husband george and lee last but not least okay my name is lee webster and i'm a supporter and a fan of cindy i am her oldest brother yes <laughs> Oh, I love that. I'm so happy to have you guys here. And so my first question for you, Cindy, is I saw at the end of the film that it said based on Son of a of a Covet. So I was wondering, can you tell me a little bit about the book that it's based off of and when you wrote it? Yes. So uh, my husband and I wrote that story together. Um, I had written a book of short stories, wanted to add a story to that collection based on a man's uh, perspective. And he said, I have plenty of stories. So he gave me a scenario in his life um, before I met him. And uh, we wrote the story of a covet. And uh, I gave it to Dwight to read. And he read it and said, you know, I think this might make a good film. And uh, that was back in 2014. And we were off to the races from then. Wow, you said 2014? Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. Started. I, I, you know, unfortunately, my husband, uh, right before we were getting started, we had a meeting with Dwight on a Friday, and he suddenly passed away um, that following Tuesday. So, you know, that put a, a big uh, stall in the uh, production and everything. But um, we did manage to get it done. We shot the film in 2017, and, uh, you know, Post-production took some time, raised money and all that, but we, we managed to get it done. Wow. Congratulations on that. I'm, I'm so happy that nothing stopped you guys, and I'm very sorry to hear about your husband. I'm sure that it, he's very proud, and you feel probably so proud finishing the project that you guys were, were meant to do together. Yes. Dwight, can you talk a little bit about what it was like adapting this story to the film, and what really, what was the first thing you said, wow, this will make a great film? How, how did that happen? um well so i well she i because cindy's written a bunch of books and so um i think i got a couple of the books and i misplaced the first one and then i approached her again and i'm not even sure if it was the same book i got the second time but i made it a point that you know what i'm really gonna take this thing seriously and so when i read it i was it was very visual was a lot of stuff in there and it just jumped out at me as like this could be a good film and because they had come her and her late husband had come to see one of my films at a theater and um yeah and we had great conversation after that and we just kind of something clicked and um yeah well, once i read that story i was just like you know what let's do this so we met we had meetings and stuff and um, we were just like, said, let's do this. And like she said, unfortunately, um, George, her late husband passed and it kind of delayed the project, but we were determined to finish it, to go through with it, it and dedicate it to him because that's what he would want. And um, yeah, we were just determined to get it done by any means necessary. Uh, cause you know, money's always an issue when you're an independent filmmaker. So we would have to like, you know, keep raising money and so forth. But yeah, it really, it really spoke to me in terms of the psyche of this guy going through some kind of crisis, um, in terms of his life, trying to find himself, which I think a lot of people, a lot of us go through at certain points in our lives and we are, we're trying to 
search for um, purpose and meaning. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Wow. Yeah, I, I think it definitely communicated too. I think the story talks a lot about grief and, and like the past, which I really related to, but also freedom and like rising up to who you're meant to be. I thought it was a really great message. I think you guys are really successful in doing that. I love to ask you guys, I mean, what it feels. So this was like in 2014, all of that stuff happened while you were doing this project. You filmed it in 2017. Now it's 2022 and it's premiering at this festival. I'd love to know from all of you how it feels to be here right now what that process was like going through all this and lee i mean i haven't heard you talk yet i'd love to ask you you know being the brother of cindy and obviously you probably saw from the beginning what's it like to now see her have a film in this festival well i did welcome that she was able to share with me the first drafts of many of her books and i enjoyed reading them and we had an opportunity to uh share different thoughts about her creative style and skills. And I was very impressed how well she was able to finish and complete all these major projects that she's done. And to this point, it's the next level of making a film. And uh, we're very proud of her. It's a, a very good mentoring type mo uh, movie that she's developed from this book. It shows, uh, you know, where someone can be very down and then uh, accept support from others to bring them up and have some success in life and develop new goals and outlooks in life. Absolutely. Cindy, how does it feel like going from writing this story that was inspired by your husband and going through everything you guys went through to being having it in Garden State? I'm I, beyond excited. Um, it's, it's been such a journey, you know, and, um, you know, it's, it's been tough sometimes, but it's also been exciting. This is new to me, uh, trial by fire, you know, of filmmaking. I had no idea uh, how much work is involved. I mean, from start to finish, it, it was a lot. And uh, it's, we shot it in 12 days. And that was, that was, the longest 12 days <laughs> ever. Um, and then post-production, you know, was, was a lot too. I have learned so much. Um, and to be accepted by the Garden State Film Festival and selected, you know, and shown our movie, that was just, you know, that was just so awesome. It, it kind of, you know, it just, it, you know, it, it makes me feel like, you know, it's all worth it you know, and we're getting noticed in the 20th anniversary, no less. Yeah, that is very good. I'm just like, yep. I'm like, yes, no, I'm so, so happy about it. We have so many friends and family that are so happy for us too, you know, so we're expecting, you know, a lot of our people to be there and uh, I can't wait. We're excited. Well, Cindy is, an, is a creative genius and on top of that, she has had the ability to bring a team around her with various different creative talents, Dwight being one of them, to help uh, make this process come to reality. And uh, it's, it's amazing. It uh, shows that she can really develop in any direction she would like if she's really committed to it. And the fact that uh, her husband passed in the process of it all it you know may have given her a pause some people would have stopped altogether but she pushed through recommitted herself repurposed and was able to get this all accomplished with a team of people she she's like a magnet for people to be around her when it's something positive so i'm just happy to see that this has all come to fruition and that she's going to have a major platform at the garden state arts festival me too. It's truly inspiring. And Dwight, what was it like for you to have been there to develop that story to the film and then directing it? I didn't know it took 12 days. It seemed like there were so many different shots. You guys had a lot of actors, a lot going on in this film. So that's amazing. You guys accomplished it in 12 days. What were those 12 days like for you, Dwight? Um, crazy. Um, <laughs> stressful. 
yes. but fun and rewarding. And the funny thing is, as soon as we wrapped, it started raining. The, yeah. the last day, literally. Yeah. It was meant to clear up just for you. <laughs> the last day, it started raining. But um, regarding the question about be, it being shown, uh, we got a lot of rejection from other festivals. Mm. So, you know, and Cindy's so determined and she's in charge of like submitting it to festivals and stuff. And it would just be one re rejection after another. And then all of a sudden we start getting some acceptances. <laughs> and then it's like light, light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. And so it was really good to be accepted in the, this one because she always told me about, she told me about it. I think two, three years ago, she was there. Yeah, I've attended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she was talking about, you know, the films and I forgot which celebrity was there and um, all this stuff. And the fact that it's in her backyard, because I'm in Philly, she's in Jersey. And it was just, just really awesome. Uh, here comes Josh. <laughs> this oh, awesome. yeah, he's this the cinematographer. Yeah. Oh, perfect. We're wrapping up the interview. I don't know if I don't see him on here, but Josh, if you are here, I'd love to, since we're wrapping up quickly, I would love to hear your perspective. We've been talking wonderful things about this film. Congratulations. As DP, what was the experience like for you? If you're, if you're there here, you can talk about that. Yeah, I'm here. Hi, <laughs> thanks for I'm joining us. I'm glad I can make it. Uh, as DP, what was it like working on this film? It was a, uh, it was a good supportive environment. Everybody was super. Just it was very like a family driven. Felt like it was like a family driven production, and um, I felt like there was just a lot of. It it wasn't like, it didn't feel forced at all. Like it really it really felt like like a calm, even though like there was. Just, Just a vision. There was definitely goals. Just you know, time and it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad vibe if that happened. So that was that was really memorable. That's wonderful to hear. I mean, I'm not surprised that it was such a supportive environment. I feel like I I could really feel it. This type of energy that I'm sure that the environment and the crew and the cast all created. So it, that's wonderful. And I'm really proud of you guys and proud that you guys still kept going no matter what was going on and despite all the rejection and you're here. It's, it's yeah. an inspiring story. So um, just to wrap up, I also want to ask Cindy and anyone else who wants to jump in, what have you learned from this process that you can take in the next film that you know you, you want to make or for anyone else watching that want, might want to do what you wanted to do? Gonna keep lot, and so I've got another project we're working on. Um, you know, as far as the business side, budgets, fundraising, um, taking some workshops, and uh, you know, so just bring all those tools uh, with us into another project. That uh, and um, Josh or Dwight. Absolutely, business is so important. Anybody else have any other advice or something that they learned from this process that you think other people can take? Well, I'm looking forward to see her bring to a film uh, one of her earlier books, HB. Uh, that would be very fascinating. And I know she's been tweaking some of the storyline to make it more even more current. And I believe it would be a really fascinating movie if she's able to um, get the screenplay put together. Cindy, where can we find any of your books or other stories? So they're on Amazon, but they're also on my website. And it's um, SidWebsterBeecham.com. So that's C-Y-D-W-E-B-S-T-E-R-B-E-A-C-H-A-M.com. <laughs> I love that. Amazing, amazing. I had such a pleasure talking to you all. Congratulations again. Let me tell everyone how you can watch Roman. It will be playing in the Asbury Park at Berkeley Hotel in the Kingsley Ballroom, uh, 11.30 to 1 p.m. That'll be the film block, 11.30 to 1 p.m. So I hope everyone can check it out. You said you have a lot of people coming in the screening. Hopefully a lot of people can come see Roman. And congratulations to you all. 
Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you, guys. Have a great Very day. Nice. See you at the festival. Bye. Good to see you, Josh. Glad you can Good make it. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you. All right. Yeah.